doing? How we doing, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to episode eight of the cut. Honestly, bro, like I don't really do that much stretching for arm day, so like that's why it seemed short in the beginning. Just because I feel like arms is one of those things you can just like go into like right away. You don't need to like really prepare for it. I mean, unless mentally. <laughs> Unless you call that preparation, but other than that, it's kind of just like whatever. All right, I'm here. Check my pre workout. Let's get into it. But yeah, man, um, cut is still growing strong. I'm sitting at 203, 204. I checked this morning, it was like 203, 204. Um, I just really need to focus more on the diet, continue to focus on that, continue to watch what I'm eating, continue to watch how much fat I'm taking in. But the stomach fat is basically going away. The only stomach fat I have is like more like up towards the top, like under my chest area. That's like the only place I have stomach fat left. But my lower stomach fat is like completely gone, bro. My freaking fupa, gone. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, before you get into this video, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, please. Appreciate you guys for the continued support, bro. Um, we're just gonna keep. Doing God's will, continue doing, serving God, and doing what we do. I say it's in every video, do what we do. But, with that being said, um, let's get into a verse, and we'll go from there. Also, this gym is super crowded. I mean, did I say this every video? Because it is, bro. You guys think, you guys swear, I think you guys think that I'm just saying that for no reason. No, bro. Like, it be dumb crowded for no reason. Especially, it's like 10 o'clock, but we're gonna get to a verse. We'll go from there. All right, so today's verse is Ecclesiastes. Is it Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiastics? I think it's Ecclesiastes because it doesn't have a C. But anyways, Ecclesiastes verse 2, or no, Ecclesiastes 2 verse 11. And it says, but as I looked at everything I had worked ha so hard to accomplish, it was also meaningless, like chasing the wind. There was nothing really worthwhile anywhere. So I talked about this in my short, but like, dude, this just like speaks volumes because when you continue to chase earthly things right when you continue to chase the world continue to chase the things of this world whether it be uh women cars money whatever it may be bro you'll never be fulfilled and it's like chasing the wind because if you think about you're chasing the wind right you're never going to catch the wind because the wind just is constant keeps going changes patterns everything right so you'll never be fulfilled because you just won't dude like the only like try try it try and freaking have everything in the world right try to have everything in the world and i guarantee you won't be fulfilled you'll still feel empty and this is ecclesiastes is like a king right this king had everything bro and in, he had everything in life but he still like felt like he was unfulfilled but the only way to feel filled bro fulfilled and quench your thirst the only way to quench your thirst is through christ that's the only way Jesus Christ the way bro that's the only way like you will never everything else is meaningless bro that's why we're not supposed to love the world love nothing in the world or of the world because this is bad bro and it's not worth it so yeah it just really speaks volumes bro because I feel like especially for like younger generation if you guys ever want to like start reading the Bible I suggest reading Ecclesiastes if you're younger because what it says really speaks to younger people because i feel like people like my age right and like a little bit uh younger than me they want to like they look at people with status right like i don't know celebrities or whatever and they're like oh i want what they have and they think it's gonna like bring them happiness bro but it's like if you have all that stuff bro you're still gonna get it and still feel empty i mean you gotta look at those people do they look happy to you they may look happy on instagram that's why i say instagram's fake bro like all the social media stuff is fake it's not real only thing that's real it's God and Jesus Christ. Amen. But, yeah, bro, like, just focus on, like, that. Don't focus on, like, focus on heavenly things. Don't focus on earthly things, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, I've tried doing it. doesn't make you happy, bro. So whatever you're struggling with, just give your life to God and he'll take it away from you, bro. He'll, he'll, he'll quench your thirst. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. That's really... It's really deep, bro. We really need to think about Ecclesiastes. I suggest, seriously, read the whole book. Read every book in it. It's fire. Literally, you'll be, you'll re after you're done reading, you'll be like, dang, Max is low-key spitting facts. <laughs> but, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, we're going to start with bicep curls. And, yeah, we can get into this video, man. 
Hope you guys enjoy. Love you guys. God bless. Alright, one of these barbell curls. So here, I'm gonna go to a failure too. Um, the reason why I was super setting both dumbbell curls and hammer curls is because the hammer curls work a different part of your bicep. So if you are doing arms, or say if you're including arms in your back day or your chest day, include those because it does work a different part. But here, I'm gonna go to a failure again. I'm gonna do three sets. Um, I'm gonna do my best. See how many I can get, starting with 70 and we will go from there another thing i want to add do you guys think that like when you're doing arms right say if you're doing it like with another bus group say like back and arms do you feel like you need to do like some crazy arm workout or you just need to stick to the basics me personally bro i just stick to the basics because i feel like arms is one of those things you don't really have to overthink you can kind of just go into it i already said that already but like it's just like the people on instagram that be doing like the craziest things like bro you don't need to do all that like you can just keep it simple and then you'll be good but i don't know my arms are small i think i'm trying to get like i haven't even measured my arms so i don't even know how big they are but from like where i was before i even like started taking this like seriously and like bulking bulking um bro like my arms got way bigger so that's one part of like my physique that i've noticed that has gotten a little bit better so we're just gonna keep at it and yeah but we're gonna get into this Three sets, failure. Let's get it. <laughs> On to tricep extensions. Um, another classic movement keeping it simple nothing crazy and then i think we got three tricep movements so it's three bicep movements and three tricep movements pretty quick workout i don't feel like arms needs to be longer than like an hour but you know when i'm filming you know the gym's like uh alpha land it takes like four hours <laughs> but yeah we do three sets of tennis while be and then So, on the overhead extensions, honestly, bro, I'm just gonna call this after this because I'm just trying to get out of here. It's too packed. Um, so I'm gonna do three sets of uh, ten to twelve here too with the rope. And honestly, on the tricep extensions with the rope, for me, I feel like I get the best like contraction when I fully like stop at the bottom for like and I hold it there for like a second. It may not look like that on the video, but like when I do that, I feel the best contraction. And I've tried other grips for tricep extensions. I just like the rope the best. I don't know. I just feel like it feels the best. And I get the best contraction. That's just for me. It could be different for you guys, though. But, yeah. We're going to finish this up, bro. And we're going to get into posing. Because it's no bueno. It's no bueno. All right, y'all. That's the end of the video, end of the workout. I'm sorry that it was short, bro, and if this video sucked, I still, <laughs> I'm not even, you guys already know. But let's get into posing, see how you're looking, see if I'm, I still got my fupa, but let's see. We 
We're getting there, bro. Yeah, man. Let me know how you're looking in the comments. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for the continued support. Look out for another video this week. Um, but yeah, man, we're just going to keep going, keep praising God, keep doing God's will, bro. I say this in every video, but that's what we're doing, bro. So I'm going to keep doing it, bro. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. And yeah, man, catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed one.